it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and it is the 10th of May. So today we are scrap lifting Liz. She is work to scrap on Instagram and she is amazing. So you need to go over and give her some love. So I actually picked this one because it looks like an eight and a half by 11 on a 12 by 12, which is what I have been doing. And there's all this mixed media behind it and stamping and it's a little out of my comfort zone and I love that it's just pushing me and I love how it turned out. So thank you Liz for the inspiration. So I started with a scrapping reflections stencil and I used some distress oxide in saltwater taffy and then I have this uh stamp set and I think it's actually the same stamp set as Liz used and yes I've never used it <laughs> so um, that being said um, I got to bust it out and use it and I am really excited so I'm kind of terrible at cleaning my stamps you can kind of see there how I how I clean them I just kind of stamped them off on an extra piece of paper and called it good and put it back on the thing so please don't judge my uh my poor stamping cleaning ability <laughs> um and let's just relish in the fact that I actually did some stamping so I have this fun picture of my son and my goddaughter is laughing at him and it's not a great quality picture so uh we were at one of the nightly shows <clears throat> and it was actually Mamma Mia which all of us girls are huge fans of Mamma Mia. And so it was funny because we went and sat down. We were late. We sat in the back. Oh, I hope you can't hear the power washer. My husband just decided to wash the car. Um, so he, he sat down and he started singing along. And he's like, what? I had to listen to it constantly. You think I don't know the words? But he was jamming out. It was super funny because there were some other kids, teenagers that were in there, obviously, because their parents made them go too. And they looked back at him and they were like watching him because he was just having so much fun, which made us laugh. And I don't know how much fun he was actually having, but he um, was definitely making us laugh. So I did want to do that kind of monochromatic bit that she has going on but because there were so many colors in my photo I decided that I needed to go very colorful so I'm going to take this uh it's actually a diamond shaped pattern paper and I'm going to double map my photo just like she did she matted it in white and then black but I did white and then the multicolor, and then um, I'm going to take a bunch of ephemera pieces, scatter them around, and then I'm going to look and see if there's any stickers that I can add and kind of do the same idea of just kind of tucking them in. She has all these bits and pieces tucked in all around her photo, and it just looks amazing. So I'm really trying to take that on as well. Um... So now that I have basically all of my pieces, I am going to adhere them all down. And I believe this video is fairly short, so I may have left uh, the gluing in. Now I did cut this piece off uh, in half because it has great lines. I can use it for a journaling spot later, especially I don't have a ton to say. Um, I don't always mind covering up things and leaving them, uh, but sometimes there are a few pieces that I feel like, yeah, I really need to save the other half of that die cut. Um, so I've got this little typewriter, it's cute, it says the story, and then up at the top I have a banner sticker that says friends forever because it is um, a picture of my son and goddaughter, which they are best of friends. They they will be best friends till the day they die. Um, but the whole prearranged marriage thing is, is not happening, which is fine. Um, 
I'm sure that the people that they marry will be wonderful and then we'll just be doubly blessed. So I'm going to finish it off with some doodly border in black, just like Liz has done. Now my pen seems to be misbehaving for some reason, I don't know. So it's like it starts working and then it stops and so I end up switching pens and then it does it too. So it may be this super cheap white cardstock that I am trying to use up from Walmart. So here I am on pen number three um, and, and that seems to make it work. So that is going to do it for today's layout. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you go give uh, Liz some love and then uh, make sure you check out the playlist of everybody who is playing along. Um, not everybody is scrap lifting the same people, so adds a little extra fun and variety. So I do have some close-ups of my stamping. Not that it's great stamping, but you know, it's it's good for me to see, look, I did some stamping. And then I put it on a black 12 by 12 uh, background so you can see what it looks like in a 12 by 12. So that is going to do it for me today. Remember to wear your crown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.